What is up everybody? I'm no Lex Given and welcome back to the Bazaar. Today I am going to unlock a new hero for the first time. We are going to purchase Dooley and we're going to see how this goes. Now because this is my first time playing Dooley ever, this video is going to involve a lot of reading and figuring out stuff that I've never even looked at before. So bear with me. And if this isn't your type of content compared to like the runs where I know what I'm doing more, then uh, now's the time to see yourself out. But now it is time for me to head into Dooley's workshop for the first time. And I do believe that Dooley Okay, Dooley only has three starting options. I thought that Dooley had more starting options than most, but I also thought that potentially you got to pick between a variety of different cores. I'm noticing that these are all bronze level. They all have the same bottom text. When you use any item to the left of this, charge this one second. They're all six second items. This one's just called The Core. Deal 10 damage, charge all items to the right of this. All items to the right of this. One second. When you use any item, yeah, yeah, yeah. Deal 10 damage, give weapons to the right of this plus five damage, so some scaling. And then deal 10 damage, this and items to the right have plus 15% crit chance. When you crit with any item, charge this one second. Interesting. Crit core all with a lot of options to charge. This seems a lot more uh, flexible. Whereas this wants you to play with a bunch of weapons, which I haven't really seen Dooley use. This wants you to do a bunch of crit chance, and then it has a much higher potential, maybe. But I think the flexibility of this, just the core, seems really good to me. So I'm going to start with this. You cannot sell it, but you can bench it if you need to. And let's just get a small non-weapon item. That's going to uh, prevent me from having to make too many decisions immediately so that seems good and uh would i rather charge this or charge this i think i'd rather actually i think i'd rather be charging the copper ed so let's do it like this pick up the fanged inglet all of the encounters i believe are going to be the same so far all of the shops are the same i, I meant the pve encounters uh, but I do think that there will be different types of encounters. Like, I don't think Dooley is going to the docks. I might be wrong on that. I'm sure everyone can go to BizarreCon. But I think that there are some different potential... Uh, like, maybe we don't go to the, the... I mean, the docks, I think, is the clearest example. Because that feels so clearly Vanessa... Am I going to find a strange mushroom while playing with Dooley? That doesn't really seem like something that a little robot boy would care about. Oh, I, I did not change my skin before we got started, but I did unlock a cool Dooley skin. We can keep this right here because it's a um, quicker cooldown than the core. That seems fine to me. And looks like we can find strange mushrooms on Dooley. So a lot of this is going to be pretty similar. Well, that'll help for... I had no clue what I was getting into. So I didn't know how much of this was just going to be totally different stuff. Looks like I can level up before the end of the day. I won't have anything to s put in with this extra level. Oh, maybe I will with the level up bonus. I could find a shield item. Two income is really, really good, though. Your tools have their cooldowns reduced. The core is not a tool. I could get a shield item, so that way I can play full items. But honestly, it's hard to pass up a sponsorship on day one. That seems really good to me. I don't know how 
important econ winds up being on Dooley compared to Pig and Vanessa and stuff. But yeah, up against another fellow Dooley right now. They have the Ignition Core, not one of the options I was offered. Burn items get an additional burn, and then the Lighter is taking the Metronome to hasten the core. They are building my burn, but I'm building their poison. And I'm also chonking them. I feel like this might be viable. No, I've got too much burn on me now. All right, so my opponent wins. I did not notice that they also frost fired me at some point there. So frost fire is a skill Dooley can get, but I think Vanessa has an easier time like getting a little bit of poison and a little bit of burn and a little bit of other stuff. Maybe that's totally wrong, though. I don't know. Let's take a look at some skills here now. Slowest poison. The first time you use a large item each fight, freeze an item for four seconds. This is new to me. Your small shield items have plus three shield. That's also new. Ten gold, not super needed. Your slowest poison gets... Plus three poison, pretty good, and does also kind of lead me towards something that I know that there is basically a puffer fish that Dooley has access to. I guess I'll take this just because it does something right now, because I don't have a large item. And is it time to finally start looking at a bunch of items? Uh probably probably okay so this is this is the part of the video where things are going to get a little bit overwhelming for me maybe not for you but i'm gonna have to start reading overwhelming for me boring for y'all potentially adjacent weapon gain plus six damage adjacent shields gain plus six shield oh this works we could slap this right in between our copper ed and the core when you use the core or another ray your burn items gain plus one burn not super useful right now, but I think I'm going to grab Copper Ed, level that up a little bit, throw in the Sander, and then maybe, do I want to roll? I don't think I should roll this early. Let's save my cash, fight a Mosquito. Wait, when you use any item to the left of this... Oh, wow. It's not directly to the left. It's any item to the left. Wow, that's really good. Okay. Let's just take on the Skeeter, though, here. This is pretty big. Now at five poison. Definitely not part of my permanent build. But looking good for the time being haste a weapon so I could immediately haste the core which seems pretty good and yeah I do think that I mean going for like a poisony haste pufferfish build is certainly within my comfort zone for my first time playing Dooley but it's not exactly something I'm excited about doing Ooh, Dooley does have a lot of small friends. Do I want to do that then? Or just find a mushroom and level up? I think I'm going to level up regardless. So let's get a small friend. And this is Wallace. Shield and then gain shield. Sure. Would I rather just scale my shield and not worry about scaling my damage? That seems fine. Sells crit skills, medium items. Huh, there is like a shield. There is a way to win with just big shield. And one level up, end of this encounter, will allow me to put in... One more shield item. Your shield items have crit chance. Uh, when you slow charge this two seconds, poison three and a freeze. When you freeze, this gains a poison. I'm not super excited by any of these just yet. 
Let's keep rolling. When you use a small item, charge this. Uh-oh. Micro Dave could be really good because the, this would allow me to just use the core quicker. Oh, here it is. Here's Monitor Lizard. When you haste, poison one. This is Pufferfish. So, I think this is still a really good card. When you haste Poison 1, I currently have no other haste. But this is the Pufferfish text. It allows, it, it facilitates some haste itself. Uh, and then I might just grab Micro Dave for four just for the time oh, being. Oh, this could have been good, too. When you shield, this item's cooldown is reduced. Oh, I, think you're really gonna I already bought the other one, though, so I'm happy with that. Your tools have their cooldowns reduced. This guy is a friend only. Medium friend. Your leftmost item gains three value. Gain one XP, gain burn, and gain two extract poison. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take that one and we're gonna do some busted poison stuff later. Later, though. Let's just hang on to. So I've seen a lot of people complaining like, oh, they wanted to make it so that you can pivot easier. And then they gave you all of these things which make you less able to pivot. And I sort of agree with that. But also, like, these things allow you to, you can stockpile these. You don't have to use these right this second, put them on your copper head and go for it. No, you can hang on to them till you find a monitor lizard if I hadn't already. But... I have. I'm still not going to use them just this second. This is the dually skin that I unlocked at the end of my last video, by the way. I don't think I included it in the last video. I just ended at the end of day 10. How are we going to do against Ignition Core? They've got Beta Ray, Alpha Ray, Omega Ray. Oh, I've heard that this is good. Let's find out. We are going to gain a bunch of burn on ourselves and they are really scaling heavy here yeah I think that we lose this one yeah alrighty this this is what I heard is like the main the main build I think I will grab another income I don't have that much cash and I don't think I'm gonna want weapons I think I'm gonna want some type of haste thing. Let's take a look at large options for Dually. I've got no clue what these could even be. I have seen Force Field, I have seen Combat Core, and I have seen Bill Dozer as well. So I have at least seen all of these things, but I'll have to read them now. Uh, when you use another friend, this gains 10 damage. Your other friend's cooldowns are reduced. When you use any item to the left of this this gains 10 damage. When you use any item to the right, this gains 10 shield. Four second cooldown. Pretty cool. Also a four second cooldown. Deal damage equal to your shield. Hmm. Use any item to the left of this. So I'd probably want to put this all the way to the right. Does make my Micro Dave a little bit worse, but Micro Dave is kind of not great anyways. I mean, it didn't didn't help me enough in that fight. I like all of these are pretty cheap cooldowns compared to some of the large item options on Vanessa. The Power Sander, also cool with the Force Field. So how do I want to... You can never play both of these, right? That's just too much. Maybe you could. I don't even think this is good already. Maybe that's totally wrong. But I could just play both of these and then this little shield stuff, right? I mean, this would be expensive to buy all of this, though. 
Yeah, so I guess I've got to pick between one of these two. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm going to buy the Combat Core. Get rid of Micro Dave here. And I do think that the normal core could still be good just to charge all of these things. And I think I want to be scaling my damage. But... No, this is really... The Sander's really good with the combat core. I should just be straight up using the both of them together. And then probably still use the Fang... to just speed up the core by a little bit. All right, I could get behind this. We'll go for the Flame Dancer, maybe sharpen the combat core potentially, or just get some gold. So yeah, this activates four seconds, which means this activates five seconds in, and that allows these things to just get off a little bit quicker. Looks like this is reasonable so far. I might consider cutting Copper Ed. I mean, I have the Creeping Toxins, which is why I think it's reasonable, though. Fiery Cutlass. A five-second cooldown is not terrible. But I'll probably be selling through that. Oh, get a Haste item. Okay, this is something I could definitely be looking for. Oh, interesting. This is considered a haste item because it has charge. Freeze one small item for one second. When you use the core or another ray, charge this for two seconds. I think this is good, though. So let's throw Beta Ray Bill into this. I could relax just so that I start winning. Is Max Health better? Max Health is probably better though, right? Oh, and your shield items gain 10 shield. Oh, that seems cool. Let's throw these in just in case I need to have them in in order to scale them up. Oh, and then a level up here. Nice, nice, nice. Your core's cooldown is reduced by 5%, and this is considered a core. Or I can get two more extract. Let's just get two more extract. Why the heck not? Okay. Why not? Well, maybe because now I'm not making my board any better. But who cares? We'll figure something out here. I think this stuff is still cool to throw in. I don't think I need too many things over here. Maybe that's wrong. I definitely need the power sander here. Maybe I don't care that much about the copper red and I wanna just make this Wallace activate more frequently. All right, this seems fine. This is a two-win dually, so now I'm getting some information. Now that I'm like playing dually, I'm actually going to pay a little bit more attention to what opposing duallys are playing against me. And yeah, I have seen a lot of this force field, but that's with armored core as well, which is partially why I didn't want to go for it. My opponent is on full armor here, which is going to make things a little bit awkward, but I am scaling and I am also scaling my armor, and they're really not poisoning me that much. I'm getting, if this comes down to poison, then we are going to win this one. And if this just comes down to armor and sandstorm, then we also win. My opponent has a bunch of armor. Force field might just kill me right now. No, I got rid of their armor just in time, but this force field will kill me. Never mind, I take down their armor again. A lot of crazy timings there, but combat core able to keep their armor down and eventually able to just outscale their board and activate enough times that we get the win. Cool. Okay. Sells items, get to the aerodome, finally find something to make this monitor lizard work. I mean, I'm thinking about just throwing all the poison onto this monitor lizard anyways. But 
I definitely need something to make this monitor lizard work. Let's just check out some more items. Time to get overwhelmed again. What do we have? When you slow charge this, and, and it's the snail, this is every six seconds, this is every six seconds, so I don't know how that would work if there was a tie. I'm seeing all of this charge, and I'm not seeing enough haste right now. When you slow charge this three seconds, could this also be a combo? Like, if we find enough things that slow your opponent? Uh, charging is also really good if we can put them... Like, imagine we put the chem snail right here. Its activation activates the core, which then activates some slow items. I can see how some combos could be possible with that. I don't know that they're... that they necessarily are possible... But I do think it's potentially worth just keeping an eye on. Do I want to find the slow things first, or do I want to pick up this snail right now while I have the opportunity to do so? I think I'm going to roll and just keep my, keep my mind out for those possibilities. Haste the core for two seconds is pretty good. Definitely better than Fang. When you sell a tool, give this one ammo. When you slow charge this two seconds. Oh, hold on. Another when you slow charge this. So you put a few things that when you slow charge on this side of the core. And then some things that slow over here. Definitely does seem like that could be, that could have some potential. Just going to pick up the GPU for now though. Oh, and the docks are an option on Dually. I did not realize that would be the case. So maybe Vanessa gets more bonus bonus things that work with the docks. Induction Aegis. I like that it's four seconds. That makes it like a little bit better than Copper Ed. Oh, this is a ray. When you use the core or another ray, your burn items gain one burn. I think I will still grab it though. I've got four legs because I carry this company. And I could play multiple burn items. I kind of wanted to look at some large, but I think I've got to cut it there because I am just running out of cash. Your burn items gain one burn. I like that it hate or it charges this. That is the really strong part. So I think I'm gonna cut Copper Ed for now. And let's give this a shot. I'm gonna tackle the Boiler Room Brawler here. When you haste Shield, that could be really good in a hasty build. And the Multi Tool or the Energy Potion, those are all nice payoffs for the monitor lizard comp if that is indeed the route that we go well combat core anyway, of course doing some reasonable work right now along with the sander when this gains haste yeah that is not really what i'm looking for cells shield skills all right well i am certainly in the market for some shield skills at the moment so let's take a look your large shield items have plus 12 shield items have crit chance which gives this the chance to crit as a weapon small shield have plus three your leftmost shield has plus five these are all quite lackluster i mean a little bit of crit is fine Plus 12 shield is fine, but like I'm scaling it much more than that. I think I'm just going to go for critical protector because like maybe that will come into play. I will level up again. Let's take a look at some medium items here. If we can find some haste stuff, that could be good. When you shield, charge this two seconds. Harmadillo is back. 
and it could be useful with the core in the same way that I was talking about some other things earlier. Oh, haste the core, I actually do have some poison now. Oh, that's interesting. Use an adjacent item, charge this two seconds. When you shield, charge this. It's interesting because I just don't think it's that useful. And then Clarence is when you use a friend, this gains 10 damage. I want to see some other haste things. When this is hasted, it gains burn. Oh, that seems good, though. While you have shield, this item's cooldown is reduced by 50%. Mm, I still think I have trouble slotting it in here. Let's level up. Get some more extract, even. No, okay. Burn have their cooldown reduced. Friends have their cooldown reduced. Tools have their cooldown reduced. Huh. Tools have their cooldown reduced, which is currently only the power sander. Thinking about just like getting three gold. This is fine. Because it pumps up both of the cores for nine. Really don't have that many weapons, so it's not super exciting, though. I think I'm just going to put some value on the fang and then sell through it. I think that'll let me buy some cooler things in the future. And for right now, we're just chilling. This is a two-win dually. Jeremiah... Could be a player we recognize here. Let's see what they've got. Ooh, a Gatling gun and all three of the rays. Gamma, Omega, no Alpha Ray. No Alpha Ray, actually. Pulse Rifle, Multicast, if it's adjacent to one friend. It's pretty good. And then they got the GPU. Am I left and right's wrong? No, they're not. Oh, so they're just using the GPU to the right. That's kind of interesting. But this does not... Okay, yeah, they're just using this to shield. They're not necessarily using it to power some other stuff out. Monster loot, get a friend, sells weapons. Let's take a look at monster loot. Get two silver tier, get two gold tier. I'll just take two bronze tier, I think. See what we get. I don't want to spend too much for it. Okay, Insect Wing is pretty cool. Bronze tier junk, shield skills again. I'm just going to get an item. Use an adjacent item, shield five. This is a slow item. This is also a slow item. So this would be... Like an interesting strategy if we were to try out the other poison thing. Not sure that that's really like super viable. And I think with some armor, I might just be okay. While you have more than half health, your weapons have plus 25 damage. Okay, so you really want to burst this guy super quickly. Well, they just reloaded everything somehow. How do they reload everything? Reload two ammo. Interesting. Well, we killed them anyways. We get the pistol sword, which does absolutely nothing on this character. And I'm just going to put one poison onto this guy, sell through copperhead. So that way I have enough to pick up the pistol sword here. Sail. 
then we'll take a look at some medium items. All right, an upgrade for the monitor lizard. Even though I have not yet built around the lizard, it seems cool. So we're going to still try to make this work. Then I'm going to roll, look for any other form of haste. Dually scarf I've seen before. Huh. Weak point detector. I don't, I really don't think that's what I'm trying to do. Tools. Okay, this is where I think we're going to find our haste here. Because... Oh, this is charge. When you slow charge this one second, another one. Use the core every 10 seconds. Am I ever trying to make this slow comp work? All right, I think we're just going to lose another fight today. I do get a level up here for two more extract or more income. I think I'm kind of doing okay on income here. And let's just keep going down this road. The more we go all in on this lizard, the better it's going to be. This is only a two-win dually, so I'd say that there is a chance here. And maybe at some point, I just got to play a bunch of items. And then, like, my haste items over here with the lizard and then just a bunch of small items. Maybe the rays so that I can activate this stuff as much as possible. All right, so here's what I'm looking for. Yes, yeah, this is exactly what I was saying. But they have companion core. So this is... Maybe this is how you have to do it. Maybe this build only works if you find companion core. I don't know if I ever have the opportunity to switch cores. I imagine I don't. And I'm trying to force something that just isn't possible. Take a look at small items, though. The coolant... When you use an adjacent friend, charge this one second. I don't hate Walter. But yeah, the idea here is to do something like... This. Yeah, and even potentially... This, you know? Just get as many activations of the core so that way I keep using my haste things as frequently as possible and then get to go off with the lizard. I don't think this is, like, insane. But it's interesting. So, let's just try it. Maybe that should have been on the GPU. Haste the core. Uh, I definitely wanted the coolant. Use the core. While well, you have burn. Haste one item for three seconds. This could go either side. It's really low cooldown. Maybe I'll just put it over here so that way I'm continually charging the core up. Huh. Not sure where the GPU should go. No, I think the GPU should go over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I want to be triggering haste as frequently as possible. That's right. Get a haste item. Haste the core for two seconds. When the core gains haste, give it plus 10 damage. Fun. All right. Motherboard. And we're in business. So then here is what I like as well. What are my most expensive things? It's the banana. And then, honestly, probably the power sander. I do think that I like the freeze. And then we're going to do something like this. Cool. 
cool. Zookeeper does have a lot of friends, right? When you use a friend, poison one. Sure. I guess that's what I'm going for. I'm also looking at the trained spider. That would be good. So this is like a little bit slow, but still 100 poison. I'm back in my comfort zone. Now, is this going to be good enough against real opponents? I am not super sure. Six seconds is my first freeze. Your medium weapons... This is a weapon? No. Uh, have plus 10 damage for each medium item you have. Oh, okay, the crook. Uh, not interested. Burn items, work at the docks, or starting shield. Burn items... I think I'll just grab some starting shield. Haste and charge skills. This could be a big come up here. Okay, hold on now. When you use a tool. Okay. Okay. Where are my tools at? Nowhere. Nowhere to be found, but... Oh, wow. And then when you use a non-weapon, a weapon gains haste. Which will always be the core. So the core is then just getting like so much haste. And then it's going kind of crazy here. I think this is good. When you use a tool, a tool gains haste. That has to mean a different tool. But I think just hasting the core a bunch is fine. I do like the quick freeze as well. That allows me to get to my other freezes. But I'm going to go for mixed message here. Two more poison, I think, is just always going to be the play. And that'll put me up to 17 poison. Here's my only question. Um, does the core now have too much haste that I don't need the GPU? I think so. I'll be using the core a lot, so maybe I do just play Omega Ray? That seems fine. I could also see using the duct tape. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with this. A one-win Vanessa. I'm a one-win dually, so can't be talking too much-ish here. But I think we finally found a bit of a build. They are a burst Vanessa with tempering. Are they going to be able to... I mean, burst is a good matchup. I do have the extra armor from Relax, though, and they are just done. Wow. Wow. I do need to find some things with just even shorter cooldowns, I think, than the Omega Ray and Beta Ray. I mean, Beta Ray's fine, but Omega Ray's a little bit slow. Motherboard might even just be a little bit too slow, though it does also haste. But it hastes the core, and it hastes the core. So I think that might be a little bit irrelevant. Small non-weapon is Walter. When you use an adjacent friend, charge this. Hmm. Don't think that's super useful. You can take a look at some tools now, though. When you haste, slow, freeze, burn, or poison, charge this. That's funny. I don't think I want to be playing other weapons, though. Maybe I'm wrong. <sighs> Battery's interesting because it is... Charge the item to the left of this. Yeah, I don't like how that works out. All right, let's skedaddle. Ooh, Chili Charles has some new art now. Very cool. Oh, should I have taken on the Viper because the Viper has poison-related stuff? 
I just figured this guy has Feather. But I probably should have gone for the Viper there. Yeah, that might have been a bit of a mistake. Oh well. Easy fight, nonetheless. And I get when you crit haste an item. Don't think that's going to be super useful for me. Let's take a look at some gold tier stuff. While you have burn, give the core plus 10 crit chance. When you lose shield, this gains that much damage. Multicast. Sure, I could find some better stuff here. When you freeze an item, this gains damage. When you sell this, give the core damage equal to triple this item's value. Oh, and it gains value on activate. More damage if it's your only friend. Uh, some cute stuff here, but I don't think anything good enough. Medium and large or non-weapon? I'm into non-weapon. We always buy this, right? I guess I could have just cycled through I can feel our energy the other one there. Okay, coolant upgrade. Freeze one item for one second. Haste your friends for one second. Which is a lot of haste. And when you buy this, get three nanobots. I feel like this thing always pays for itself then, doesn't it? Maybe should be keeping some of my friends. Sell out of this. Uh, I'm curious what this does. Nanobot sell for zero. Deal 15 damage for each small friend you have. Okay, it was worth looking at. Cost me four gold. Now I know. Probably I'm not interested in it for the most part. I will upgrade this coolant though for a little bit of cash. That seems fine. And not going to buy the freezer. But we do level up here. Core cooldown. I will just get three loot. Let's see what loot we got. I got a feather. Oh, reduce all of your items cooldowns by 6%. That's pretty good. I probably want to reduce Aiden's cooldown or the Monitor Lizard. I'll just go for the Monitor Lizard. Now Monitor Lizard is a five second item. That's pretty cool. And do I want to keep the Omega Ray? Or would I rather just, like, throw in Wallace? Or even the GPU? Maybe I'll go for the GPU. The thing is, neither of these do that much. The Omega Ray charges the Beta Ray, though. That, that's probably fine. I think I like uh, just getting as much freeze as I possibly can here. And... Can I lose today? No, I cannot. So this is a totally fine fight to lose. Though I wouldn't mind winning it either. We are up against a fellow monitor lizard with companion core. And... I was gonna say, I think it's tough to beat companion core trying to do the same thing as me. I do have double the poison. And a pretty nice skill here with mixed message which might actually be making this better than the i mean i could just use any weapon i suppose but this is a good weapon to have a bunch of haste on i could even probably play a second weapon just because i've got a lot of haste to throw around here i'll take a look at large i've got a lot of cash and maybe there's something crazy when you take damage from an item, shield equal to a percent of that. Forced field. This and items to the right of this for two seconds. 
and I could haste this. So this would activate like seven seconds into the fight. And then it's hasting everything. I think that's always going to be worse than the core, and I just don't have the space to play all of it, though. Let's see what Keen has got for me. Charge adjacent items. Shield burn. All right. Car conductor? That's new to me. What's car conductor got? Car conductor could give me captain's wheel when you use a vehicle or large item. Charge this two seconds. Haste your vehicles. Cog is fine. Alright, so there's some cool things here. If you have a vehicle, reduce your non-vehicle items cooldowns. What did I get? I got haste your vehicles for two seconds, but a nine second cooldown on that. I don't think that's gonna work then. Here is another poisoner. It would awkwardly take the poison creeping toxins off of my monitor lizard, so I don't love that. When you freeze this gains two poison, Increase a random enemy's cooldown by one. When this gains haste, this and the weapon to the left gain five damage. Okay. I think that this is quite good, actually. I used to offer a free ride home. Because it scales both itself and the core. Have to decide if I freeze one item for three seconds, one small item for one second. I think this might be better. I could see cutting the motherboard for the rays. When this gains haste. Now I want this over here. Oh, I actually want this uh, crypto in just so that way I can see when it's a good time to sell or not. I don't want to just forget about it. What else do we have? Shield skills, probably grab some gold tier items. What is this? Destroy another small item on each player's board. When you destroy an item, this gains 10 poison. When this is hasted, it gains four burn. When you use the core or oh this is a this is a ray, your poison items gain three poison. Oh, that's really cool. Oh beautiful, that is so much better than the burn ray. Oh beautiful. So my only fear is Dang. It is a little bit slower than the monitor lizard. I think it's still worth it, though. I think it is still worth it. Because it's going to scale. And it'll get that back. So I think that that will be worth it. Could be wrong. Let's see what we get here. Two more poison extract. Yeah, always. And these extract are now plus three poison. So that puts me up to 20 poison on the monitor lizard. I am now only using the core to activate the monitor lizard more. But the monitor lizard doesn't even need to activate. Yeah, I mean, it's just giving haste, but that's probably good. I wonder if I ever would want to take some of my freeze items and activate them more frequently. Yeah, I would, wouldn't I? And then just actually use Monitor Lizard as a setup. No, I probably still want Monitor Lizard as a payoff. Okay, I can see going either way with that. Seems reasonable. Now, if I lose, I prestige down. So things are getting a little bit, little bit spookier. And...
And what do they have? When your opponent freezes, reduce the freeze duration by one. So Beta Ray literally does nothing now. Except look pretty. But hey, Beta Ray, you can stay frozen, baby. If Beta Ray stays frozen, that's pretty good for me. We're scaling the Monitor Lizard, and they've got 600 poison. It was close. It was close. I got down to 45 health there. But I did manage to win against the Companion Core again. I didn't see how much burst I was doing by the end of it, but that all seemed to work out. Let's take a look at some more mediums. How do I improve the core? Oh, okay. Freeze all items other than the core for three seconds. Interesting. So the benefit of this is we could stack on a bunch of poison and then freeze my opponent. Could that be better than this stuff? I think it's probably worth looking at. Bring it back. I want Let's roll after that. Yeah, how do I upgrade the core? When you use the core, freeze an item. Now I'm just transitioning to like full freeze. When you use the core, freeze an item for one second. Seems so good. This is, oh, this is a lot of cash, too. I do kind of have to get more freeze onto this. I don't even know if that's possible, though. I think I should maybe not go into Pierre. I appreciate all the puns, though. Like, I need to have enough setup. Yeah, this must just be like a smidge, a smidge faster than 0.5 seconds. I don't really need the coolant if I am playing this. Probably just play the GPU. Could try this for a moment. One of three hero merchants. I'll take a look at large. Yeah, how how are you supposed to I thought that like your level up things were just supposed to upgrade the core. <laughs> Haven't really seen any of that. Your friends have multicast. Give your other items haste for two seconds. When you burn, charge this two seconds. Not quite a combo. This would take a lot to become a combo. You'd have to have a burning monitor lizard and then do some other stuff. Your friends have one multicast is cool, but I don't think super great for me. Let's see how the cryosphere does. And then maybe just wind up selling it off here. So basically, we hit them for 300 poison, freeze everything for three seconds. And then when we unfreeze, they're close to dead. Seems tricky to get this to activate multiple times. When you poison, your items gain crit chance. Could certainly be useful. Your tools have their cooldowns reduced. The core gets more damage. 5% is a lot on a 10 second item. I might not wind up using this forever, but it seems interesting to try out at the very least. Poison skills for sure. Let's get a little bit of a poison freeze or an upgrade. I think I'm gonna go for a poison freeze though. Oh wow, or final dose plus six poison. No, that is way too good, isn't it? I'm just going to rely on the Cryosphere then, and 
Actually, I should cut the claw arm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's probably not good enough when you use an adjacent item. Sure. I'm not sure what my last item is going to be. Let's just throw in the crypto for now. But I'm going to go for final dose above the paralytic poison, I think. And this might be crazy, but the idea here is to just stack my opponent up with enough poison and then cryo ball him and watch them die while everything is frozen for three seconds. And I think if that is the plan, uh, increasing my poison by 25% seems pretty good. A uh, temporary boost from jewels or weapons. I'll take a temporary boost, sure. 50 heal, 25 damage. I'm just going to gain max health. And I suppose I'll do this. And what are the chances I might need? No, I'll go, I'll go for the, the cooling. That's fine, too. I could have seen picking up the freeze ray just because uh, that would allow it to still activate while the core is going off. Oh, a freeze on the core is pretty nasty from Frostfire. Hopefully the Cryosphere can still kill him. Yeah, and then they still die to the poison while Cryosphere is active. Cool. Okay, that worked. That's the comp. It was a little bit spicy and dicey there for a moment. I think I'm just looking for items with a cheaper cooldown than duct tape, so I'm looking for small items here. Uh, this might have it. Maybe something like battery. I could see this being better. Use an adjacent friend. Charge this. It's definitely not faster. Aegis is faster than duct tape. So I guess I'll grab it. It's a little expensive at 8, but we'll try it out here. And then, oh, small and mediums. For sure. 6. When this gains haste... Oh, okay. Charge it one second. Uh, it seems a little bit wonky. Let's roll... When you freeze an item, this gains damage. When you haste, when this gains haste, charge it one second. When you gain burn. Yeah, so that's not quite the same as delivering burn. And I think this thing is... This is the one that's fine to play up against. Yeah, this is the one that destroys items. Seven? Sure. I might be about to get a huge cash injection here from the Void Colossus, so... No sense in hodling if I can potentially grab this or the Void Shield. Seems good to me, and... Freeze. So this is not quite going to be enough, but we might get off the Cryosphere multiple times against a comp like this. Okay, there goes the core, but... That's funny, you can destroy the core when you burn haste in item. When you burn, your shield items gain plus three shield. All right, that's not super useful or good. Upgrade my leftmost item. So here I could upgrade the core. I don't know if it... Like, I don't think the monitor lizard gains that much from being upgraded. I don't know if the core gains that much. All right, it looks like it doesn't gain that much either. But it was worth at least seeing. Take a look at large again, just because, like, I'm curious more than anything else. 
bunker when you take damage now. Okay. Skills could definitely be good, though. Some of these are new. When you use a friend, your weapons gain damage. Leftmost item has some crit. What are my other options here? Any poison skills? Oh, I can give even more haste. That's irrelevant. Medium weapons deal double the damage. Sure, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Though, it's not super exciting. Anything else to change up here? Nope, let's go for this. 30 poison on the monitor lizard. I think that this is a comp where freezing everything for three seconds could be really good. Just really slow the game down here. Two hits of the Beast of Burden and I'm dead. But that's pretty slow, I think. So we are going to freeze right before the first Beast of Burden activates. Get a little bit of damage on them. They're going to chonk me down to 600. But I don't think I die here. I think they do. Nice. When you crit your heal items. Yeah, okay. This opponent was not really doing too much, if we're being honest. But that's win number six. I do wonder if you get like a slightly easier pool your first game with a hero. It's definitely possible. It's one way to design a game. Get a tool or sells non-weapons. Let's take a look at the non-weapons here, please. Here's the snail. Here's the snail, but uh, I'm done with the snail, unfortunately. Haste and adjacent item. That seems good. Hasting, coolant, and Aiden. Seems like an upgrade over the induction Aegis, which, I mean, it was giving me a little bit of shield. Gonna roll after that. When this gains haste, charge it. Oh, I've already seen this one. Okay. And we're just trying to make these things activate as frequently as possible. Sounds good. I'm interested in everything that the bazaar has to offer. 2 XP, a diamond tier. I'll grab a diamond tier, sure, why not? I've got a little bit of cash right now. Charge adjacent small items for seconds. It is really slow. But I could use it, and then the cog Huh. That's interesting. Citrus or coconut. Core's cooldown. 1 XP. Your tools. Was this a tool? No. It's pickles. I think I'm just going to go for XP here. Uh, I'll do the core's cooldown. Whatever. That's fine. And I'll fight the octopus, but so this is what I'm thinking. And I definitely want to play this while I'm up against the... I do like the GPU. Seven seconds in. You know what? But this is going to have enough haste, actually. So I really don't need the GPU. All right, sure. I'm into this then. Um, let's sell out of Wallace. He's way too slow. That'll give me room for Piggles and face off against the Octopus. So now this activates, it always charges this, or it always hastes this. And then this just immediately activates both of these, which seemed reasonable. And, yeah, I think we gave them enough poison. Cool. If you only have one medium item, its cooldown is reduced. Uh, no way I can make that one work. I will just take a tiny little cutlass. We also grab a piggle, which is a three-second cooldown. Oh, wow. Give your adjacent shield items plus eight shield. 
Oh, it sells for zero? Bummer, bummer. How's a pig item gonna sell for zero? Sells enchanted items? I'll take a look. I'm a little low on cash to buy diamond enchanted items. Oh, wow. Golden crypto. Um... Huh? <laughs> I'm not sure... I'm not sure how this is enchanted. Um, when the core gains haste, give it damage. This has double haste duration. Huh, I don't think those were super useful. When you use an adjacent item, charge this two seconds. It's a little bit big. And I don't really need it to be restorative. Burn, charge. I like that this is a four second cooldown item. I honestly... Oh, Turbo Armadillo, that's cool too. I don't really care that this is toxic. But it's a four second item that charges an item two seconds. This is a seven second item that charges eight seconds, which is more. There could be some overflow though. I think this might be good does burn both players. But imagine it like lands on the cryosphere too. Yeah, because it could just randomly do that. Beep boop boop boop. A gift from the Imperium. We're gonna get rid of this. I guess you did pay, for it. play this next to the cog. And then I think I'll risk some coin here. Though I am interested in upgrading the monitor lizard. I don't think that that's super great for me. I'll gain XP after that. Oh, I think I hit big there. Burn items. I'll grab three loot. Just double checking that. Done with this one. Done with this one. Double checking how much extract did we get? No extract, but wait, is this two XP? Dang. And then reduce all of my items cooldowns by 6%. Wow. Am I going all in on the toxic nitro here? Would I ever want to haste this? Or this? I think it is hasting these things still. Yeah, it is. Yeah. These are now pretty dang low cooldowns. 8.7 seconds on Cryosphere. Basically seven seconds into the fight, which might be too quick. This is a seven win prestiged down Vanessa. So a little bit stronger and a little bit weaker. I think that means she kind of fell off. Okay, they've got the lifesteal. Well, lifesteal ain't going to save you while your board is frozen. How much poison can we put on her before that happens? 400. Ah, that's not going to be enough. No, we lose this fight. Oh, and a crit. Yeah. One more crit and I'm dead? Yeah, just the lifesteal. Could not beat the lifesteal, even though they were down an item. So now what do I get? A random enchantment? Yeah, it's got to be a random enchantment. And it is crit effects. So this is interesting. This can't crit. This can crit. This can crit. It's got to just be the core then. Despite not being that exciting... Now the core has a... It's a deadly core, right? 
and it's got 50% crit chance, which will scale with the poison and potentially be able to deal. Now I almost want the Razor Scooter back in or whatever that thing was. Maybe I can find it again. Welcome in, hon. What can I get you? When you gain burn, haste your items. When you gain burn. That's right. I read that wrong earlier, too. Burn equal to two times this item's damage. When you use an adjacent item, charge this. Oh, and you sell this, upgrade the core. Cool. Oh, delivery's free. I like the exercise. Sells weapons, get some chocolate. I think I will go for some chocolate. Let's upgrade the core, see what that does. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Unfortunately. I think I'm willing to go pretty big on chocolate here, though. Feeling a bit of a sweet tooth at the moment. So let's grab some golden bars. Bars. Just keep on reducing the cooldown of the cog and the cryosphere. Let's see what Valkus Enforcer has to say about this freeze build right now. I'd love to get this to seven wins, so I'm looking for one more win. Oh, this is the golden cryosphere. Interesting. I'd like an icicle. Thing is, at this point, coolant is better than most of these other options. Oh, the cryosphere. How did they break out of the cryosphere? This item gains freeze, remove freeze from it, and then remove freeze from everything. Oh! When and any item gains freeze, charge this two seconds. Huh. Oh, wow! Um, I think we've just found another item here, then. That would allow me to keep going while they are just straight frozen for three seconds. If I'm going to do this, how do I fit in this icebreaker? Clearly the coolant goes. Because I'm just going to rely on the cryosphere. I feel like it might have to be the nitro going, or I might have to also move the lizard over here. No, that's not right. But I could see this being something interesting. Uh, risk some coin? Sure. I mean, we're very close to level 15. That could be some more enchants and a really big moment. Oh, no. It's level 16 for more enchants. Core's cooldown. Yeah, let's go for core's cooldown. Because we are actually using the core diamond tier skills. Those cost 24, right? But if there's a big one, this could be a big moment. What is this? The first time you use the core freeze an item for six seconds. Both players' weapons have double damage. Start of each fight, haste your burn. First time you fall below half health in a fight, use all of your friends. I love that. That is, uh, this could have a cuter name, I think. But I do love it. First time you use the core, freeze an item for six seconds. Huh. Both players have double damage. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm going to take this. It's expensive, but a freeze is a freeze. And use the core, get freezing. 
I think this is as much as I can go into the ice breaking strat. And then I'm just using Aiden plus Cog for a little bit of a faster core. Core does activate 3.5 seconds into the fight. There's no way I am speeding that up ever unless I play the GPU. And then it activates 3.3 seconds into the fight. I don't think that that's worth playing for. I think this could work, though. This is interesting in that some of my haste may now fall onto the Icebreaker. Oh, so this haste is now 50-50, right, because this actually activates the core four seconds into the fight as long as it gets the haste. It didn't get the haste, though. Let's see, we haste the Langzian for a long time here, and then I break out of the haste. Yeah, keep keep trying to freeze me, buddy. That ain't going to work. They, they petrifying gaze me, and I break out of the petrifying gaze. Wow, that is huge. Langsy in there for not even quite my full life total, but I'm able to break out immediately and break into a silver victory with my seventh victory there. What else do we have? First, five times you shield, charge an item two seconds. First time you freeze, haste your items five seconds. Uh, sure, I'm going to need to sell to pick that up, but that seems worth it, right? Definitely not using this. Let's just get out of this, get out of this, and then I'm there. Don't travel from point A to B. Just Think I will grab some chocolate. Yeah, I don't want to relax. I want to. I want to spend my stuff on the PvP fights here. Uh, sure. Actually, I'm going to sell through this, too, so that way I can maybe find, like, a higher level version of it, because the bronze version of that just isn't cutting it. But I'm going to grab some chocolate bars here. And the Awakened City does try to one-shot you. The Trash Titan, I think, is ammo-related, so let's go for the Alchemist. Alchemist is also ammo-related, so none of these things really mattered. When you slow freeze, burn, or poison, this gains 10 damage and it has lifesteal. This is cool. This is almost... Wait a minute. Wait a gosh darn second. That was about... Perm that was ready to be permafreeze. Wow. Um, when you use a tool... So if I found a potion... It would actually play here. That's kind of crazy. I'm just going to grab a temporary boost here, which is 500 max health. And then I can get burn on the monitor lizard, of course, or a haste enchantment on anything. Well, I don't have anything here, but I'm going to have to load up how bizarre real quick. Let me just do that while I'm doing, and I'll just talk all of you through it. So, howbizarre.gg. I did not type that incorrectly. Howbizarre.gg, and I'm just going to go through each of these one at a time. The cryosphere. We can give it burn 15. We can give it haste two items for three seconds. This is our payoff thing. So I don't imagine this is where I'm going. Um, or I can give it 100 shield. Uh, monitor lizard. Can We can, we can uh, get plus one haste targets out of it. We can, when you haste, shield 15. Now, that is not terrible. When you haste, shield could be actually a pretty nice... When you burn your shield items, gain shield. Okay, that's not really helping. Um, let's take a look at the core, though. 
The core would lose its crit. But I'm not I'm not super sold onto that. We could give it shield 80, poison 8, or haste 2 items for 3 seconds. Haste 2 items for 3 seconds could be quite good. What's this one called? Icebreaker? Icebreaker can get haste 2 items for 2 seconds. Poison 6 or shield 60. This little guy's name is First Aiden. First Aiden can give haste one item for one second, poison one, shield 15. Yeah, that is never going to happen. The cog, I imagine, is similarly unimpressive. Uh, double haste duration, which I think it just means like then it becomes a two second haste because that's a scaling thing. Um, burn three, shield 20. I think I like haste on the core or shield on the lizard. Shield on the lizard feels like a nice amount of sustain. And haste on the core feels like considerably more burst. Hmm. I'm leaning haste on the core. Let me know what you would do in the comments down below. Uh, whatever, this is a uh, an hour and a half into this video. I think that enchants on monitor lizard are just really good though. I'm somewhat tempted to give it a burn enchant just so that way the past four videos that I have are all a burn enchanted puffer fish. But this feels like a lot of sustain. The big uh, thing that's pushing me over the edge in this regard is my opponents are now so much less likely to be running poison themselves because pufferfish was nerfed that this is actually really it's much better protection than it used to be non-weapon get a weapon sells tools i mean i think i'm over like everything i guess i could upgrade the cog well that's up to you charge the item to the left when you use an item to the left charge these this is too many words um i'm out an 8-win dually up against my 7-win dually. They look to be level 10. I'm not sure how that happened. Maybe I really... Oh, they're all diamond as well. And they are monitor lizards. So my shield does nothing. They've got more poison than me. But if I can freeze them out and continue to stack poison while they don't, then maybe I've got a chance. Yeah, 400 poison versus my... And it's permafreeze. It's permafreeze, baby. Yeah, this is really good. Oh, they have the Phoenix, the Rebirth. You've got to be kidding me. Wait, we can still do this. We can still do this. This is wild. I'm about to be a fiery Rebirth for the first time. I was one tick away from dying. Wow. They have a healing core as well. That was... Insane. The armor did actually help me because they were also burning me. So that made it so that I didn't have to worry about the burn. And my golly, my gosh. Who, baby? This this was good. This was good. Uh, GPU, haste the core. Uh, sure, it sells for eight. Right? Gumballs, bronze tier junk. Bronze tier junk could actually be good. Get more armor on this is quite solid. Uh, this is all my cooldowns. That's crazy. I will take the scrap as well. Uh, this is all your weapons, so I'll buy it. Leftmost weapon, why not? Oh, I am really low on cash. Whatever. This is, this is some of the best uses of cash at this point in the game regardless. Uh, this is not. The cooldown of your items 
increased by one second. Oh, interesting. Oh, at the start of each day. Your heal items gain 10 heal. I think that's too expensive. But I will grab another insect wing before we skedaddle. Try to take on the Void Colossus again. So what do I want? Just first Aiden's cooldown? Uh, no, probably just the core, right? Max health. Damage. Awesome. Just fight this guy for some extra XP. And also, I don't think I can get Void Energy again. So it's nice to not have to get that. And yeah, this is like basically permafreeze. Yeah, because as soon as the, the freeze goes away, well, bam, I freeze him again. That is fantastic. Permafreeze plus a pretty constant stream of poison. Oh, I do get this. Oh, cool. Diamond. Diamond void energy. Never seen that before. Get to extract. I could reduce the cooldown of the Cryosphere even further. I really don't hate that, to be honest. But I think it's basically perma as is. But as soon as it... Getting it uh, active quicker, I think, is actually better. Yeah, all right. Let's reconfigure this comp a little bit. Shield skills when I have a shield item. Yeah, like buff up my medium shield item. That would play. You fall below half health. Shield equal to the total burn. Your Levmo shield is plus 50 shield. Can I afford that? Yes, I can. When you use the core, your shield items gain 10 shield. When you shield, your weapons gain 3 damage. Oh my. There are three really solid options here then. Scale my damage don't think I'm ever going for titanium casing. I think I'm either getting initial burst on the lizard or initial damage, but I think I'd rather get more sustainability because as long as I survive, I seem to have permanent freeze. So let's do that. <laughs> 69 shield looking nice. Looking nice. I'll uh, pause for a quick little thumbnail. And sparring partner. This build is not super useful against sparring partner, but it's going to be more gold than just getting five gold. So we'll face up against the Potna. Should I even just cut the Cryosphere? Oh, I probably should have. That's silly. Yeah, I should have just cut the Cryosphere against the bot here. Oh, well. This will still give me a... A realistic sense of what we're looking at, though. I'm not scaling this, but it can still crit, I suppose. <laughs> Jeez Louise. And we're going to have a bunch of shield by the time the sandstorm actually starts rolling in. That I might be able to do a little bit more out of this than typical. This is for 10 coin. That's 10. This is for 15. Yeah, once this gets rolling, it, it feels borderline infinite. Infinite freeze and infinite poison and haste and shield. I think I might be beating the sandstorm here for the first time. I'm not that fast, though. Oh, no, here comes the, the sandstorm killing me. I'm done. Okay, so I got 15 coin. Sure. And now, can I get win number nine up against a nine win Vanessa? I think it's possible. I think it is very possible. First Aiden immediately gives me two hastes, which is a hundred. This gives me two hastes, which is another uh, 120 armor. So hopefully that's enough sustainability to break through this burst. And then if I can survive till the Cryosphere, now I think they're perma-frozen, and I think that's all she wrote. This got very close. 
But yeah, they're permafrozen, baby. Nicely done. Wow. Not bad. Not bad for my first game with Dooley. Like I said, I don't know if they purposefully seed you with some easier opponents, but I feel pretty good about how this went. All I need is to make it through alive. Let's just grab some econ. That'll allow me to do some other... Whoa, two-second activation. Hold on now. Is that better than the cog? It could be. Oy vey. Uzi, just to crank out the deadly core. It is another weapon. So I'm not the biggest fan because then it doesn't use my... Oh, when you use a tool, reload adjacent items. Oh, gosh. So it would never run out of ammo. Uh, but it would not be able to use my mixed message as effectively. I think I'm going to stick with the COG at 3.3 over the Uzi. Ah, oh, that might be wrong, though. I'm definitely going back into the Enforcer. And... I guess there's no sense in even playing the Cryosphere against them, though. So, sure, Uzi, you can... You can show us what you got here. It's not a tool. All right. Yeah, I mean, no sense in... trying to freeze that which can't be frozen, but facing off against them again means I could get another part of their comp another relevant skill or just even an upgrade on the icebreaker that would be insane too let's see what we get out of this we could get when you freeze your shield items gain three shield when you freeze your items gain a crit chance when any item gains freeze this would be fine too this is a little slow frost potion might actually work because i could uh keep resetting it but it's not super useful. And I get this. When you freeze your shield items, gain three shield for the fight. Okay. It's a little it's a little tough because by the time it works, like I don't really need it. Friends have their cooldown reduced. I think I'm not gonna play the Uzi. Over either of these. Hmm. Still charges the core. Let's do some math. So if I play both of these two, the important thing is that this is each of these is two um, monitor lizard triggers, whereas the Uzi would be zero monitor lizard triggers. So the Uzi uh, has less sustain than both of these. Uh, but I'm just curious, when is the first core activation. The monitor actually activates with the core now. That's interesting. I'd like to get one of them a little bit faster then. Maybe make the... Yeah, I probably should just take friendship ring, huh? Yeah, I guess I'm always doing that here, so it doesn't really matter. Let's risk some coin, maybe level up again, or no, I'm gonna go for max health at this point. I could still level up again before the end of the day, but I will just take flat max health. Poison items, haste slow and cooldown items. I don't really think I need items. I mean, an upgrade on this would be fine. An upgrade on either of these would be fine. I guess I'm playing a lot of haste items. Maybe I'll just look for upgrades. Yeah, it seemed like a long shot. And I can't reroll, so we're done, and that's it. We are now on to the final fight of the game. Not going to play the Uzi. Let's stick with Aiden and Cog and our shielded monitor lizard permafreeze build, because I think the sustain is just going to help me get there more than being faster would with the Uzi, which I'm not even convinced is faster 
Yeah, we just got to turn off this Cutlass. Hits for double crit damage, which is a lot. But are they frozen? Come on, freeze them, freeze them, freeze them! No! No! I was just barely too slow. Oh, that is a bummer. That is a bummer. But nine wins for my first game on Dually. I'm still going to be pretty content with that silver victory. We came so close, though, which is always uh, a little bit of a disappointment. But for today, that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm no Lex Given. Peace.